Oh my god. It's been a rough few days, let me tell ya. So, hello guys. Happy... Happy Wednesday. I am so sick. Not so much, I think I'm finally like coming down from it. I'm feeling well enough obviously to be leaving the house. And of course it snowed a lot last night out of nowhere. And so the roads are really not great. So I'm trying to drive very slowly. Let, let, let me show you the roads right now. But the reason why I'm leaving the house is because I have an eyelash appointment and I figured, you know, maybe if I just get out of the house and get some fresh air, it'll make me feel a little bit better. Let's go girls. like an early 2000s playlist on my phone. It's got all the throwbacks. Tell me if you guys remember this song. Are you ready? Lashes are all filled. Yes, honey. I love them. So I've been getting volume lashes. So they're like little fans with multiple extensions on each one of my eyelashes. So it gives them like a fuller look because my lashes naturally are very long, but they're very fine. And I don't really have like a lot. They're not super, super full. So I get the volumes to give them a fuller look. And then I've been getting like a pretty short length. I went even a little bit shorter than I did last time. Um, I don't know the exact length and thickness and all that that she does. I don't ask details. Um, I just tell her what kind of look I like and she just goes based off of that and what my natural lashes can handle without damaging them. Um, so yeah, short volume, I guess, is uh, what my look is in case you want to know what to ask your lash artist for. Good morning. I just finished filming a makeup tutorial on this look. I actually was following a Kylie Jenner tutorial that she did on her Instagram story um, to do this Valentine's Day look. Pretty cute, huh? That tutorial will already be up by the time you're watching this vlog. So if you missed it, go check it out if you wanna see this look. 
but I just wanted to vent really quick because I wanted to film this video like I saw her tutorial last night on Instagram and I was like oh my god I should follow it for a video do a makeup tutorial and you know like that's such a good idea whatever so I had time because today I don't have work until 3 p.m. So I was like, great, I'll get up early, I will, you know, record this tutorial, and then I'll already have my makeup done, so then I can record, like, one more video. So I can start, like, pre-recording and, like, having videos already ready, because I want to post more consistently on my channel. So I come downstairs, right? And I have to film in the basement because I don't have room in my bedroom. It's super tiny, and I, I like, my setup is pretty big. I have these big lights, my tripod, whatever. So I'm in the basement. Okay. First of all, my dog follows me down here. He's running around. He's making noises. He's jumping up on the futon. I've complained about this before, but <laughs> he is, uh, you know, just making so much noise. Like, he can't just sit still and just be quiet. Constant noise. And it's loud enough that you can hear it in the freaking video. Because otherwise I wouldn't care. But like, my mic picks up everything. And it's distracting. It's unprofessional. It's fucking annoying. Like, I don't want the sound of a dog <coughs> snorting and making all these noises in the background of my video. So, he's doing that. Then, I try to put him outside for a little bit. He's scratching the door, crying, making noise, wants to come inside. I try to put him upstairs. No, he scratches at the door to the basement because he wants to come down because I'm here and he wants to be here with me. But he can't be here and just sit and be quiet and lay down. So I'm like trying to put him in a room upstairs like, and no matter what I do with him, he's just crying and scratching and making noise. And then my dad comes out and he's like, oh, what, where, what's wrong with the dog? Why is he crying? Oh, like... And mind you, every time people are walking around upstairs, I can hear like all of the squeaking, every single freaking sound. Someone coughs, I can hear it, the mic picks it up. So my dad keeps coming back and forth in and out of his room, walking around upstairs, making noise, talking to the dog, yelling at the dog to be quiet, just making all this noise. And then the freaking heater is down here. Sorry, hold on, my nose is running. Our heater is downstairs in the basement too, so I have to turn it off when I'm recording a video because otherwise you can hear that and that's a loud freaking noise in the background too. So I turned the heater off before I came downstairs. Oh my God, it looks so pale. Um, <laughs> I turned the heater off before I came downstairs to film and I guess my dad started to feel cold. So he goes to turn the heat on and he's like, oh, why is the heater off? <sighs> So the heat comes back on, that's making noise. He's talking, that's making noise. I just, I can't. So it took me over two hours to film the video that should have theoretically taken me 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah. So anyway, when you guys are asking me for more videos and more makeup tutorials and more this and that and whatever and more like sit down stuff, that is why I don't do them as often anymore because it is literally a whole entire headache. I have a few hours still until I need to leave for work, so I'm just gonna, I guess, edit that makeup tutorial that I just filmed. And so it's been kind of an agitating day, to say the least. I finally got my video. It's not 100% done. I'm like 99% done editing it. It just never ends <laughs> so I was getting ready to go to work and I was like hmm I have a pair of sneakers that I think are supposed to be delivered today let me go look and see if they're outside and as I open the door the guy is walking from the FedEx truck up to my front door with my box of shoes it was perfect timing so I'm gonna open them and show you guys. I had been wanting a pair of shoes like this for kind of a while. They're sort of, they're like a trendy thing. Um, and I tried some on at the store the other day when I was at the mall with my friend. And I wasn't totally sure if I wanted to get them. So I decided to wait and sleep on it. And then once I got home, I was like, yeah, I should have got those shoes. So I ordered them online. I posted on Instagram actually on my story. I was like, should I get these? And it was like 
50-50. Like half you guys said no, the other half said yes. So this is what I got. They are frozen, they're so cold. Cause it's freezing outside. But they are the Fila, um, I don't even know what the style is called. Let me see, let me see. Disruptor 2 Premium. So, some cute little dad shoes. They're like so ugly, but that's what I like. I like stuff that is hideous. Anyway, I am making myself some hard boiled eggs really quick because I have yet to eat anything all day because um, I need to leave for work. It's gonna be an easy night tonight, thank God. My friend Jay is coming in and then I have a lash fill and that's it, that's my whole night. So it should be pretty quick and painless and then as soon as I get back home I'm gonna finish editing that video and put it to upload so I will see you in a little bit <laughs> goodness it's cold. fabulous do you love it yes yeah yes. and we're gonna do silver next time for his birthday Woo! Yes. oh my god I just attempted to leave the house completely forgot my purse and thank god I didn't lock the door behind me otherwise I would have locked myself out of the house and then been fucking screwed <laughs> Oh my god, this is just one of those weeks that can't end soon enough. Oh my god. And it is freezing, 13 degrees. <gasps> so let me tell you a crazy story. Put sunglasses on first though. The sun is just like reflecting off of all this snow. <sighs> okay. So for those of you who don't know, I work in a hair salon. And currently, it is just my boss and I that work there. And there's a few times during the week where I work really late hours and I'm there till like nine, sometimes even 10 o'clock. But my boss has a family and all that, so she usually just leaves way before I'm done for the night. So long story short, I'm at the salon alone at night a lot of the times. And our salon is two floors, so upstairs is where I have my lash room. So whenever I'm up there with a client and no one else is at the salon, I always have all of the doors locked. So that way, you know, no one can just walk in and roam around and like steal shit while I'm upstairs. Um, so doors are always locked and I'm like extra cautious and careful. Like they are always, always locked. So there were a few nights where I was there pretty late alone and I like could have swore I heard noises that sounded like they were coming from in the salon but nothing like too distinct or too alarming i'm just like oh it's probably just like the building creaking or whatever but there was one time in particular that i was doing somebody's lashes upstairs and i literally swear that i heard somebody open the door downstairs walk inside and walk around downstairs like go from room to room and then I could have sworn I heard them coming up the stairs. Like it sounded like somebody was coming up the steps. And I, I was so sure about what I was hearing that I thought my boss came back for something. And I was like expecting her to like pop her head up the stairs at any point and be like, hey, I just popped back in. I forgot, you know, whatever. Okay, see you tomorrow. Like I, I was waiting for that. And so like I'm thinking I'm hearing someone come up the stairs. I'm like, oh, she's gonna appear. <laughs> any second now nothing and then the noise stops and then I never hear anybody like the sound of anyone leaving or anything else so I made sure when we went downstairs that I double checked that the door was locked and it was definitely locked like there were no signs that anyone came in that anyone broke in or was there at all or you know no nothing was missing nothing was moved at all whatsoever maybe I'm just like freaked out and so I'm just hearing things and 
maybe I was just like imagining it. I don't know. I, I also had my music on like a little bit softly in the background. So, um, you know, maybe I was just confusing the sounds and I, I heard something that I didn't really hear. So fast forward then to maybe a week or two later, I'm there really late again and I'm doing my friend Tanya's lashes. Hey Tanya, if you're watching. <laughs> so I'm just totally relaxed. I'm not even thinking about, oh my God, I'm here at night alone. I, like I wasn't freaked out at all. I was not expecting to hear anything. Like I'm just in the zone with my friend. We're just laughing, talking, whatever. And all of a sudden, I fucking hear the sound again. It sounds like someone opened the door downstairs, walked in, is walking through the fucking salon. And I'm like, oh my God, am I like, am I going crazy again? And all of a sudden, Tanya goes, do you hear that? Is someone downstairs? But I was like, okay, I'm not fucking hearing shit and making this up in my head now. She hears it too. So we turn the music down and I'm like, okay, like, and I'm legitimately freaked out because I'm like, okay, you heard it too. Someone is fucking in here. I'm like, okay, let's just like act casual and just see if we hear anything else. Like now that I turn the music down and we start to hear someone walking around again and then we hear them coming up the stairs. And she says to me, are they coming up the stairs? I sh she's laying there with her eyes shut, you know, because I'm doing her lashes. She hears somebody. And I was like, oh my fucking God. And at this point, I literally, like, I truly think, okay, someone is about to come up these stairs and that's it. Like, they're gonna kill me or I don't know. And then all of a sudden, the sound just stops. Like, the sound of the person walking up the stairs, it just stops. I don't see anyone. And then that's it. No more noise. No sound of anyone leaving. No more walking. It's like they are walking up the stairs and then it just, that's just it. It just stops right there. So we go downstairs, check the door. It's still locked. All of the windows are shut and locked. There's no sign that someone broke in. No sign that anyone was there at all. Nothing is missing. Nothing is displaced. The register is still full. Like. The laptop, like our computer is still there. It just doesn't make any sense. Like if there was somebody actually there breaking in, why wouldn't they have taken something or tried to do something to one of us? I'm freaked out because I'm like, okay, maybe it's something supernatural. Maybe we have a ghost at the salon. But like my main concern is if it actually really is a person, but it just doesn't make sense. And this has been happening now for at least a month and nothing has ever, happened and it like I don't want to call the police because like that just seems kind of dramatic like if I haven't actually seen anything like to just say oh I'm hearing noises like you know but it's just like freaks me out and the fact that she heard it too like I can tell myself all day like you're just imagining things it's no big deal it's nothing but like the fact that she heard it too and was hearing specifically the same things I was hearing so anyway then right this happened about mm, two weeks ago yeah yeah exactly two weeks ago was when my friend was there so then I told my boss about it a few days later and I was like have you ever heard anything when you're here alone because I you know I tell her the story da 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 and she's like no you know not really whatever last night bitch I was there late again but my boss stayed this time because she was like doing stuff in the salon, whatever. She, she stayed late with me. So I'm upstairs with my client. After I'm done with my client, I come downstairs and she told me I heard somebody knocking on the glass door and I swear I heard the door open and somebody walked in and I went to go over to the door to see who it was and no one was there. And she said she looked outside, no one. And there's no way, like if someone actually was there and they opened the door and they were stepping inside, like you can't just shut the door really quick and go run and hide in the matter of like the two seconds it took for her to like come around the corner. Like she would have saw somebody. So I'm gonna go get a coffee, get something to eat, cause I haven't eaten yet. Um, and then I work a super long late shift. I'm gonna be there till at least nine o'clock. Yay! So I'm definitely gonna see if I hear any more sounds tonight while I'm there. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here, but I wanted to kinda conclude the story of our potential 
ghost in the salon. So last night I worked super late and my boss was actually there really late with me. But neither of us heard anything. Like there was nothing else that we noticed anyway last night. But today one of our clients came in to get her lashes done and she is like very in tune I mean, I don't know if she would like call herself psychic, but she's she reads cards and she is just like she sees things all the time. She was telling me so many stories today of like the things that she's seen and things that have happened and I'm just I, I'm convinced. But we were asking her if she could do a reading and she wasn't going to have enough time to do it today. Um, but I was like, well, I'm just curious, like, I just kind of want you to come in and just, like, while you're here, just let me know if you, like, feel anything, like, you know, do, do you get any kind of, like, vibe? And, uh, she was like, oh, yeah, from, like, day one, like, the first day that I came in there, I could tell that there's something upstairs in the room next to your last room. Like, it doesn't feel like it's anything negative, but I just can tell, like, th but something is there. And I was like... You couldn't have fucking said something? So we went into the room and she was like, yeah, it, it doesn't feel bad, but it's just like the air in here is heavier and it just feels like something, especially right in this doorway over here. Like I just really feel something. And she said it, kind, it feels like an older woman, but she can't say totally for sure. Um, until she, she has to like meditate and do her whole little thing and do like her reading and stuff. And I was like, my god and she's like no but for sure something's here like a hundred percent if you guys are curious and want some updates let me know and um when she does come and do her reading i will update you guys in like a future vlog but that's gonna be it for this one thank you so much for watching as always i love and appreciate all of you make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos and i will see you in my next one Bye.